Tell me, baby, baby, yeah. Whatever you want, boy. Whatever you need, baby. I'll be right there for you, baby. Yeah, yes, I will. A nickel for your kiss. I will. Ah, <sighs> y'all see me sweating. Trying to lose. This is what I'm cooking today. Apple, kale, bananas, kiwi, spinach, lemon. Make a wish and blow out the candlelight. For tonight is just your night. We're gonna celebrate all through the night. Pour the wine, light the fire. Boy, your wish is my command. I submit. To your demand, I will give anything. Boy, you need only yes. I'll make love to you like you want me to, and I'll hold you tight, baby. All through the night, I'll make love to you when you want me to, and I will not let go to you. Tell me to. Ooh, boy, relax, let's go slow, I ain't got nowhere to go, I'm just gonna concentrate on you, boy, are you ready? It's gonna be a long night, throw your clothes on the floor. And I'm going to take my clothes off too. I'll make a place to be with you. Boy, whatever you ask me, you know I will do. Hey, what's good? Hold your tight. When you want me to, and I will not let go to you, tell me to. Ooh, oh. Some people ain't even say that, Tree. How y'all doing? Make a wish of your nights. Thing I will let, I will give you the love of your life. Your love, your love. Hey, do y'all get to see it? All took the night, I'll make love to you. And I will not let go to you. Tell me to. I've been working. Love, and I will not let go to you. Tell me to. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. How y'all doing? Whew, baby. Baby, baby, what? So this is um a smoothie with apples, kale, bananas, kiwi, spinach, and lemons. From Miss Ioni, my girl. She's in Sarasota, Florida. Y'all gonna love my hairdo next week. I ain't gonna tell y'all what it is. Y'all just gonna love me. My music is on all platforms. Um, it's on Pandora, it's on YouTube Music, it's on 
Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Jay Z, um, with um, music site. I don't know his name, but I know he got his own. It's on there. It's everywhere, baby. You just gotta look it up. You know, look up Latrice Allen. Look me up on Pandora. You can look me up on YouTube. Look me up. Support my music. Play. I gotta get a video, y'all. I just want to lose weight, get fine, so I can wear the rights. Cause I want to look good in my music. And I know my song's like a year or two old, but I'm still doing videos for my damn music. You remember how you see how Juvenile did his thing? He waited all these years to bring out a song for a video for 400 degrees. So, I mean, it's okay. Whenever you do the video, you do it. And um, I'm definitely going to be doing a video for a lot of, you know, all my songs. So, um, I just got with the guy that make my beats and stuff. I'm trying to get him to send some stuff over to me. He's been sick. He had to get heart surgery. So, once he get that to me... I'll be handling business in the studio. But other than that, I'm on his time right now. So I'm just waiting for him to send what I need, you know. I got Joe CD. Be you says you look good. Thank you, Deej. I'm trying to get it. I want to feel healthy. I want to live to see a old age. You know, I don't, you know, I'm just trying to do right. You know, I ain't got nothing. Help my health is okay, you know, all the mm -hmm. thing is iron and my blood. Uh I meant my iron and I don't know. I gotta go. I'm gonna go back and get checked probably like a couple of months to see how it's looking to see if it's doing better because I'm taking a lot of different vitamins. That's good for iron. You know, my I'm anemic. Um, plus, I, my vitamin D was you know low, so I'm I'm work. I'm getting that right. I'm taking those, and then um, I'm like borderline diabetic. They said if I keep on, I'm gonna be diabetic. So I'm just trying to change my way of eating, y'all. So I ain't been drinking no liquor. I ain't smoking for right now because that weed had my mind on some dummies, you know, some dumb type stuff. I be forgetting stuff, so I'm just trying to let that go too. Thank you, Tilo. Yeah, that's, um, you know, I'm sexy. He told you look sexy and professional. Yeah, so health is wealth. Yes, health is wealth. Most definitely. Most definitely. What are you drinking? I'm drinking a smoothie. It's healthy, you know, raw smoothie. I want something. Um, I, I wish, I just wish somebody, I wish, oh, you know what? This is soul food, vegan spot. I'm going to go to. I ain't going to say where it's at, but I'm going. Let me see if he open today. Let me see if he open, because I've been hearing a lot of good things about him. Dang, he don't open today. He don't open. Dang. But they got a lot of places on here that I see. Got some good looking soul food vegan. Yes, Lord. And I, I tried them. I ain't really careful now. I want to go see what he doing up there. He got soul food, all kind of stuff. They say his micro the cheese tastes like it's real. They say the vegan mac and cheese, vegan salad and soul, country fried steak mac, all that is vegan. So they say, um, is that true? You feel like family love, watch you, love you too. They say, um, is it true that um, Chick-fil-A selling banana pudding? I can't eat that neither, though. I can't even eat that. I can't even eat that. That vegan cuisine look good. Oh, my God. They got a lot of vegan places in um, St. Pete, though. They really do. They got a lot of vegan places in St. Pete. Look into a father that said one in day doctor gave me food. I, I've been taking that too. Um, through um the, the lady, she put all that in her vitamins. So I've been doing that as well. Yeah, I've been doing that as well. I want me a good vegan sandwich. This is all like vegan. Oh my God, it looks good. I might have to go there in a minute. Mm mm mm. 
Ooh, it looks so good, y'all. They vegan food. Ooh, Lord. I ain't gonna say what, well, cause I have people wanna follow me and be where I'm at. I don't wanna, can't even say where. What time they close? Ooh, they close. Okay, I like them. They got the oxtails and okay, do y'all thing. The reviews are great. I went up to Chick-fil-A and asked for the banana pudding and people looked at me like I was crazy. I think people lying, huh? They must be putting that in their own bowl. I know damn well, unless that's a black people Chick-fil-A. Black people ain't scared to make up something. It's like an island. Ooh. We gonna see, baby. I love me a good vegan. I find me a good vegan. It was a spot in St. Pete when I stayed up there. When I stayed up down there. When I tell y'all, it was a spot there that had some good nachos. I don't know who that was. I don't want no white rice, cause see, that ain't good for you. Uh, hey, Miss Carolyn Dye, baby. How you doing, sugar? Not all Chick-fil-A is just some. Kendra Ivory, I'm doing good, boo. How you doing? You too. Hello, um, Misty Green, Elizabeth Rose. I love you, boo-boo. I meant to say I'm doing. Yes, one, because I'm big at telling people don't say trying. Yes, that picture on the wall is so pretty. Thank you. I be pretty, girl, every now and then. You know what I'm saying? You know, right now, I just, I, I'm really, on. I just love to be natural. I love being natural because when I tell y'all my face is so sensitive, I just, you know, my face be dry, y'all. Like, literally, like, when I put stuff on it, it just be dry. And I don't, and I have to put, like, an oil on it. But I really like to be natural more than anything because all that makeup clogs up my pores and stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. But I'm getting my hair did next week. It's going to be so pretty. I, I got to do pictures with that hairdo because I've been wanting that hairdo forever. I couldn't find nobody to do it. I finally found someone to do it. So it's going to take her. It's going to take her some hours, but we're going to be cute. We're going to be cute. I'm going to be cute. <laughs> I'm talking about we're going to be cute. I'm going to be cute. She cute already, but I'm going to be cute. This Memphis guy wants you, baby. I don't want none another Memphis guy. One I had, he was he 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 didn't tell me he was married. He was and all that there, and I just don't want to date now, man from um Memphis ever in my life. <laughs> you look you look pretty either way. Thank you, Yasmin Grant. Yeah, being natural is very comfortable, very comfortable to me. I promise you, it's so comfortable to me. It is. It is so comfortable. But I would never date another Memphis guy. So you can go on with all that, baby. And I, I'm talking about he didn't even tell me. I'm talking about even though him and his wife do poly, but doing poly, I don't do poly. Poly don't live here, baby. I don't play with poly. I don't play with poly. Poly can't play with me. Hey, Tree, stay blessed, you and your beautiful kids. Thank you. I heard black seed oil is good for your skin. I don't know. I got it's whatever. It's, that's why I've been taking something from the end because there's something going on from the inside. I'm just putting stuff on and make it worse. So it, whatever's going on, I have to heal it from the inside, and that's what I've been doing. So I've been taking some stuff that's good for the inside of your body, and my hormones and stuff are all out of whack, y'all. You know, my hormones is definitely out of whack from. You know, birth control. So, my body is out of whack. Been out of whack since I was a teenager. So, this ain't just because I'm 40 years old. I've been out of whack since I was in my teen years. Man, I missed periods for years. And you know, your body's supposed to do you supposed God want us to do that, ladies. He want us to bleed. He want us to get all that out of us. And like, for years and years and years, I did not have a minister. And that's not healthy. So, it played a long part in my hormones. It made me start getting hair on my chin. I got like about four strains now. And I get like three, four strains in my chest. 
So yeah, and I started at 14. I started taking depo at 12. So my, I told my mom, I said, you the reason why I'm going through what I'm going through when it come down, come down to my, you know, acne and hormonal issues, like, in, you know, stuff like that, hormonal bumps. These bumps are hormonal bumps. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's just, you got to reverse it by eating, eating healthy. You got to reverse it by eating healthy and stuff like that, you know. <clears throat> Coconut water is good for your skin too. Yeah. All that. Come through, Tina Thomas. I love your lives. Your energy gets me up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Tina Thomas. And honey, they always say, they tell me, when you turn 30, it's hard to lose weight. It ain't hard. That's a mind thing. You just got to get your ass up and you got to go to work. You got to get up. Mm-hmm. I ordered some stuff, though, that I heard that's real good. We're going to see if it works. It don't, you know, so. Hey, Crystal Nicole. How you doing? I'm going to take this out Sunday, washing, wash my hair real good, and um, go get my hair did. What is coconut jelly, um, Cindy Lou? I never heard of that. What is coconut jelly? Tell me something good. Tell me something good. Tell me that you like it, yeah. They be stealing um people uh pictures and posting them. And Ashley Stewart things. How you doing? Recipes to my girl Ashley Stevens. I just got a little something from her, and I just want to say recipe. I don't know if she looks good. Okay, Auntie Gladys look like. Baby last night got her face pulled tight as a fashion Nova jeans. Ooh, they play too much. But it look good how she got her face there. I don't know. It look like she lost weight. <laughs> yeah, it look like she lost weight. Hey, girl. I'm good. It's Friday, and I'm ready to get my wine and weekend on. Yeah, I'm not drinking this weekend. I'm chilling. I'm straight water, straight healthy this weekend. I'm straight healthy, y'all. It's going to be hard. That's why I said I'm going to have to stay away from people because... So they're like, let's take a shot. Or get it, get it. Oh, I'll be ready to say, let's take a shot. Self-love, self-respect, self-worth. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am a woman. Pray on it. Pray over it. Pray through it. Uh, see your worth. Feel your worth. Know your worth. Then add tax. Mm-hmm. Let me go. Get this up out of there. Then add tax, baby. Then add tax to it. <sighs> you on your break, Samara? Okay, okay, okay. You're back in Florida. I'm, I'm, I'm in Atlanta and Florida. I'll be in both of them. See a shot, hey look, see a shot, take a shot. Jelly from the inside from the coconut. Oh. Blackburn mixture is the best for acne and skin discoloration. What is Blackburn mixture? What is that? Let me look that up, girl. I ain't never heard of that. Never. You said black burn mixture. What is that? Y'all ever heard of Black Burn Mixture? What's time, Marie? Oh, they said, oh, you watched that out for you. Oh, you seen that on TikTok. Oh. I'm looking over there now. Hi, um, so to answer this question. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing people doing it, but I don't know. She's doing when they say not to apply the eyes and you apply the eyes. Hey guys, so recently I've been using a formula called a black burn formula. Oh, she got bad skin. Lord Jesus. Not mine wasn't that bad. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. What's she gonna use? Oh my God. 
Mm. Can you please show us how you first applied it both when you had the stubborn hydrogen and dark? Oh, her skin look a lot better. Her skin look a lot better now. Oh, she look way better, y'all. I don't know what they said she got. She got a lot of stuff going on. She got a lot of stuff going on, baby. Yeah, she got so much going on, but she got that skin pretty. She did good with her skin. Why, damn. If she can get her skin right, I know I can get mine right, y'all. I mean, her was bad. Mm. She using a lot of different creams. That should be, oh my God, too much going on. Look at before and after pictures. It works. Show your short. Man, get off it with all that. Trust me, it works. Can I be your, man, be your mammy pimp? I don't need you being mine. I'm good. Somebody cannot be your pimp. Mm -mm. Hey, Anna Lee Hoover, how you doing, baby? How you doing? How you doing, sugar? Facebook be messing with my algorithm now. I should have did my other page. They do that to this one because they know I can make a, I can get my own commercials. It's a bestie game. Yeah, but she ain't, that girl stay running out. She stay running out. Well, how do I order the Blackburn? Do I mix it? I ain't trying to buy all this type of stuff now. She don't even tell you where to get it from. Oh, she said, how have you liked the Blackburn mixture? She said, I go to the dermatologist and she just prescribed it to me. Oh, she get it from her doctor. Yeah, that girl get, she get that from her doctor. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, she get that from her black room and uh, another lady get that from her doctor. Mm. Honey child, it's a waste of time. It's not bad as you think. Yeah, my face ain't bad as hers was, but God damn, man. I seen hers. It, it, she, it was, it wasn't cute. I mean, I'm trying to, the black room mission for darker skin tone. You got to go to a doctor to get this stuff. Be careful what you put in your... Yeah, Miss Pam. You right, love. And won't further review before I try. Yeah, it's a mixed hydroquin rectum accident. There isn't many reviews about it because it was made by a dermatologist in Dallas, Texas who specialized in dark skin tone. I managed to find some reviews. Out about typing in Black Remission into Google. I actually dropped a picture for it today and it will be picking it up later. I just wanted to see if anyone. You got to get a prescription for that. Yeah, that shit ain't. Ask your dermatologist for I ain't got no dermatologist. I got to find one. Well, I got to find one. You to my tribe. Black Bar Mixture at Walgreens Street. Yeah, but you got to get a prescription for it. You just can't go in there and get it. You just can't go get it. You got to um, get a prescription for it. Yep. Hey, Carmen Bass. 
I use it worse wonder. Donna, you use it. You do you did your before now? Would you please do five jumping jacks? Please show me your foot. Oh my God, baby, they is over here on YouTube, baby. We got some strange people over here. You wanna see my foot? How that look? Meow. How that little toe? You like that little toe over there? Look at that little baby cone. It, it went away. You like my feet? You like my foot? I mean. How I look, sugar. You see it? Mm-hmm. Hey, look at that cone right there, y'all. Ooh, look at that cone. That's an old cone now. YouTube. I gotta get somebody to pull that off of y'all. Ooh, look at that dirt on my toe. Uh -huh. Ain't it um, Miss Smith R.E.N.? She said, your picture behind you is fire. Honey, they over here, they, um, they is, uh, they is ready. Yes, it's a nice picture. Thank you, Miss Renee. I had to let him see my feet. He wanted to see it. He wanted to see it. Mm -mm. I need to see, uh-uh, baby. Nah, that ain't this shit. What is that? No. I don't see it. I be need to see black people so I can see how they skin turn out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I love the pic behind you, Slate. Thank you, Miss Harper. Hey, everyone. Happy um, Friday. Happy Friday. What is y'all doing for the day? Thank you. Well, thank you. Good afternoon. Mm-hmm. I need to contact the little lady. Man, I can't. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, you got to come now. Yeah, you gotta um, you can't. You gotta go there. I'm really ready for this 420 party. Oh, I ain't doing the 420. I'm taking a break. That we have me stuck on stupid. I ain't ready for the 420. I ain't ready for the 420, baby. She what you gonna cook today, Trees? Um, something healthy. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to um get me some healthy food before I go get Rennie from school. And then I'm gonna head to get her after I leave from there. Get lemonade out of this chat. I got him. 
They need help. I will be working all day tomorrow. You will? What are you going to work at? Huh? You know, yes, baby. You can tell they mess with my algorithm. But Facebook be tripping. They say I'm um recommended. I'm so sure you're being recommended. Okay, so why y'all messing with my algorithm? Hey Jarvis. Jarvis Q. How you doing, sugar? Hmm. How you doing, boo boo? Uh, grandma, grandma, those drinks are in healthy. What drinks, Renee? Oh, these right here. Yeah, this is healthy. This is definitely healthy. Uh, this is the one. Let's see something real quick. She, can you call me? It look like you have. She said it look like you have. Melexma. Melexma like me. What is Melexma? You want me to call you? You can tell me about it on here, baby. I probably got it. Ain't no telling. You got it. Why you won't tell me about it? Yeah, you did 11 11. She got some nice clothes. I need y'all help right now, please, y'all. I need y'all help. I need y'all. Oh. But now, I like to play all the time. Tatrice, what are you drinking? Hi, please, can I have a shout out? Hi, a shout out. Hey, y'all over here. How y'all doing? I had to come up and show y'all some love. Jarvis, why you hurt? Well, that's too bad. Why you telling me to shut up, Harmony? Terry Laws. They, um, uh, I just, um, uh, swung on them. Waiting for the police to come. I just swung on them. Waiting for the police to come. I'm ready. They got that still. Don't try to come in my house. Don't push your way in nobody's house. You don't do that. You swung on them. Show sure enough did. Renita, Sheba. Pop, 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 pop. Keep doing what you're doing. Your face is clearing up just fine. Don't add nothing else. It is too. Yes, yeah, because that bump was poking. And yeah, it's the stuff I'm taking from the inside. I don't want to use nothing else. I told my mom, she's not like, I was on birth control too. And I don't break out. I said, girl, you want on birth control. Tiffany, about did y'all did I tell y'all how I we was on the phone last night, right? So, you know, she getting her feelings and she miss her mom and dad because both of them deceased. So, I'm on Facebook just being nosy, looking at little skits and stuff. Probably was Instagram or something. We both send each other stuff. We'll just be on the phone for about hours sending us sending each other videos from Instagram. 
And I just be laughing, y'all. I just sit there and watch stuff. So I'm up there. My mind so well that I remember her talking to me about her parents. She was like, yeah, I would have missed my mom. You know, her mom was a Virgo. She was like, mama would love you. And, you know, just talking about how her mom was flying and all that stuff. So I'm listening. And she was saying how her dad and mama, you know what I'm saying, they was the, like a great couple. So I'm listening, but at the same time, my mind so well. So I just bust out and say, yeah, I, I wish your mama and daddy was out. I will put the people in jail, y'all. I said, I wish your mom and daddy was out. She told my son, she said, you know what? Let me get off this goddamn phone with you. I said, what, what, what? She said, you just don't put my parents in jail, tree. I said, oh, 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 not me. I'm sorry, Fred. I'm sorry. I meant to say I wish they were still here. You know, they were still. Honey, yo, that, baby, don't be on the phone with me and talk to me about some shit. My mind be everywhere. LaShawn, new donation. Y'all can't, ain't no, the cash app ain't working. The cash app ain't working. So anybody that's sitting the cash app for renting to Trees4141, take your cash app back and you can just send it to me another way if you really want to send it. If not, just take your money back. If we're to come in on here, would it make any difference? If not, I'm not going to come in. Baby, come in, Josh. Come through, my girl, LaShawn. New donation. New donation. Hey. Baby, don't get on the phone with me. Because, you, I, baby, you'll be going through something, and I'll be listening, but then I'll be say the wrong thing. You'll be like, yeah, they took, they took my man. I'll be like, girl, he'll be back home soon. <laughs> Tracy dead. Oh, God damn it. I'm sorry, friend. Friend, my mind so well. Oh, my Lord, please forgive me. Don't come on calling me. Talk. I love you, LaShawn. I love you. Don't come telling me about nothing on it. My mind be everywhere else, but which uh, uh, we all we do the same thing. You do me like that too, Tiffany. She be doing her thing, and I, I be talking. She be like, uh huh, yeah, but you know he. Uh. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, what is you talking about? What is, what is you talking about, Tiffany? What is you talking about? I, oh, 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 no, I was no. Uh huh. A fruit smoothie. That she put in a bottle with veggies and fruit. And come telling me, but that's why people like, I need to talk to you, baby. I'm the wrong one to talk to. I got my own damn problem. I'm over here thinking, I'm over here plot, planning funerals in my head, and a bitch ain't even dead yet. And you up here to my, I'm up here planning all kind of stuff. Oh. I'm up here thinking about a I'm thinking about a master plan and you up here trying to tell me what's going on, baby. I'm going through it too. I love you. I'm the wrong bitch. That's why, baby, I can't hold that Tiffany. Ooh, Tiffany. But I'm glad I'll be able to make her laugh and encourage her because she, you know. You're not my inbox. Don't call me. Telling me not happen. But I'm gonna get ready. Yeah, it be like that. I feel you on that, baby. Talk to God about your problem, honey. Talk to God, cause calling me, it ain't gonna get you nowhere. I'm on two lives, three, four, five lives. Just to see. Cause he told me, and this is what the guy told me on the phone. He said, Oh, and Fridays, he told me, I'm gonna give you all the times that's good to go live. The best time. I said, Okay, give me the best time. So I'm in Easter, and I said, you know, I'll be in Georgia and I'll be in Florida. He say, well, both are the same. He say, so Friday, 2 o'clock. No, sir, you lied. Now, I go live tonight. I have about 1,000 or 2,000 people on this mall. I'm live right now. I know people. I know damn well. So, don't be. they be lying to y'all. That's why I told people, don't believe them reps. Some motherfuckers be telling you what they got on them scripts. But it said at 2 o'clock is the best time. No, baby, 2 o'clock is the best time for me to go live. and Not not why people at work. Not why people at work. These people be at work. Some of these people, some of these people ain't even getting notifications. Because y'all y'all hiding them. So what you mean? So sometimes you just got to go live. That's why a lot of content creators are cre creating backup pages. Just to be safe because they see, you know, the, the algorithm and then, you know, it's messing with their money. So, okay, let me try a new page and then I can make money with that page or something like that. You know, it's, it's, it's really like, but it's really hard. It's really hard. LaShawn, 
My girl came through. Where you been, LaShawn? Yeah, my lives do numbers sometimes. It depends on what I'm talking about. So I, I tested them. I put DCF, you know, just to see if people come. But they did not. Tonight, last night when I put DCF, I had over 200 and some thousand people that that video reached. You know, I could see it from, you know, the back end. So it reached 200 and some thousand, like 100 and some thousand. I guess seen it over a certain amount of minutes, but it reached 200 and some thousand people. Too, but so it's probably about 300 or some thousand by now. But um, yeah, so, and I only made like 50 some dollars off of that. And then another thing they done that I don't like, Facebook, usually I can edit to make sure my videos are monetized because they be making it where my videos they monetized and they showed it as monetized and I have to go in the edit thing and turn it on. So they check, they got it where I can't even edit my videos on the content on the creator thing no more to make sure it's on mon it's monetized. So that's why posting videos they automatically monetize, but when I go live, um, it seems like they're messing with it. That's and so they they notice that I'm able to turn on my own shit, and they're trying to keep us from making a certain amount of money. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thankful that you know I save my money and I put it up. I'm thankful that. You know, I have backup plans. You know, I'm really thankful. That's why I tell a lot of y'all, a lot of people just want to get this money and play, but you got to invest with it. Y'all, a lot of y'all just can't jump out and go ahead first buying bullshit. Don't go trying to buy no new 2024 because you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, baby. If you made 50000 on Facebook, go buy you a cash car, especially right now with the way they're going because you might make 10000 this month. You might go down to 1000 You might make 5000 you know what I'm saying? You might end up making, lucking up and making 30000 You need to be smart because you ain't going to always make that every month. So buy a cash car to be smart. Like when I, when I, when I, when I bought my first car, I had enough money to buy, pay it off cash, but I wanted to build my credit up. So what I did, I just put down 20 some thousand and I paid it off within six, seven, eight months after I built my credit up. These cards right here, I'm doing the same thing. Just building my credit up. Just paying payments. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I already know I don't want that BMW too long. You know what I'm saying? I might go ahead and raffle it off. And, or I might just go ahead and trade it in. It depends on what I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? I might trade it in for something lesser than that BMW. People are like, are you trading your BMW for that? This is what I want it. I might, I might have traded it in for a, a, a goddamn um, Nissan or Something like that. You know, people, are yeah, girl, a, a, BMW, a BMW. Yes. I'm not you and you not me. Okay? Totally different people. So, I mean, you just don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I make payments because I want to. Then, you know what I'm saying? When I'm able, I stack my money, go pay it off. I don't, you know, I don't, I could have been paid that BMW off. I had, I got paid 85000 October 85000 in November of last year. I ain't paid, hell no. I stack my money, got my house, save money, and I keep money in my bank account just to cover in case they block me or they take me down. So I have me money in my account. And that be, I spend money, have fun. I'm spending two, three, four thousand sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Damn weed, Amazon, all that stuff. But I still have enough money to back me up for my bills. So I don't be giving a damn, you know what I'm saying? If I had, I let go of them cars, I let go of them cars first before I lose my home and go buy me a cash car. Shit, let me get this car right here, man, for ten thousand dollars. Oh, it got how many miles? Fifty thousand. I take it. Shit, I'll be all right. I ain't gotta worry about no goddamn high insurance. I'm so goddamn don't care. That's me. I just don't be can. I don't give a damn a bitch talk about me. I can't believe she went from a BMW to a Toyota Corolla 2015. I can't believe that bitch. You believe it? Cause that's just what trees do. Believe that shit, okay? You know what I'm saying? Believe that. Don't hell no. Nah, that's what I do. I ain't worried about the Joneses. I ain't worried about what a bitch in the hood talking about. I'm gonna still be like that. A bitch gonna say one thing about Latrice Salas. She don't give a fuck. What you say about her? That's just trees. Anybody in my hometown will tell you trees don't care. Trees don't give a damn. Trees gonna keep her something to ride in. I don't give a damn. That be raggedy. Trees gonna trees gonna make a move. Trees gonna be and trees gonna still ride and be happy. And they ain't gonna give a damn. They ain't gonna be like, I miss my BMW. I'm sad. Man, fuck that BMW. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. People, I'm not, I'm just so different, baby. I don't be giving a damn. Why people be like, oh, if she loses, I'm gonna still be humble. I could lose everything I got, I'm gonna still be humble. 
I'ma still be who I been. I'ma still be who I be, be who I was when I had money and when I didn't have money. People don't see me when I was broke. People don't see me with money. They gonna say that be still the same. People still didn't really fuck with me like that when I was broke, and people still don't really fuck with me like that now. They hey and bye, hey and bye. That's it, and that's all. That's all we need. And I done cut a lot of people loose that I was cool with back when I was broke. <laughs> that I should have been cut loose because they were fake and phony and talking about every goddamn body. And they like to make jokes that they claim is, is they just playing, but you don't joke with me, you know what I'm saying? Especially like I had to say it to a person. We was at... um. My homeboy look going home service. Look what I mean what we was at that little fish fry. And I seen his son on the thing with him. And I didn't like the fact that the person even said what she said because she can't talk. She like, you know, I'm looking at her like, you know, and I don't like that because I take I, that person like to act like they joking, but they really be mean what the fuck they say. So we looking, I said, Well, he what was that? That's his son. I was like, who is the little boy? I said, he's a nice looking little baby. Little young man or something. She said, Oh, he's oh yeah, oh, he ain't old enough. Bitch ass hoe, I ain't ask you all that. I could say that little boy look nice. I ain't say, ooh, girl, he fine. I ain't say that's a child. Bitch, I said, he nice looking. First, she ain't old enough. Like, bitch, you know I like young niggas. I don't like young niggas that young, bitch. With my 20s, I like them younger. But no, nah, bitch, I'm 40 now. I don't like nobody under 30 right now. I don't even care. I got a boy right now, 26, begging to talk to me. Wanna... I'm good. The last motherfucker I talked to was that Bahamian, and, and, and he, he left him where he was. But the th what I told her, I said, bitch, you like young niggas too. Oh, yeah, yeah, bitch. I've been so wanted to. I don't play. I don't be. Don't play with me like that. Because, see, you're not playing. That's why we say don't play. People like that, like they joking. They really not joking. How you going to joke about something that you know I did talk to young boys? So you're not joking. You're really meaning what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? About that child. That's a child. That boy probably 14 years old. Now, he looked like he was about nine. I just didn't know he had a son. Like, you know, I knew he had a daughter, a daughter from the girl, but I didn't know this man had a son. So that right there, you know, bothered me. Like, I don't even want to fuck with you like that no more because don't play with me and, 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 and making jokes and stuff because I don't joke with you. I'm too old to joke with you. I ain't going to joke with you and be like, yeah, they say you had that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing. And you know that we heard this for real, though. You're going to get mad. You're going to feel some type of way. And I defended you behind your back and told people, you know, and let you know. I didn't tell the world this. I didn't go to everybody. Ooh, girl, they said she's sick or she went to the doctor. I don't do people like that. And that's why I ask any bitch, you keep it 100 with me at all times. Don't play with me behind my back. Don't play with me in my face. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't go around and, 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 and say that. You know, I didn't say nothing when I seen them all the drawers down at the hut and they had a discharge in their drawers. I didn't go tell everybody about that. I kept that to myself. I didn't even talk about it to my best friends. I, didn't, I ain't brought it up yet. I'm bringing it up now. This is my first time. Bitch drunk up, get on the sit on the towel and pull their drawers out. I see a whole little brown and some colors in your draw. I don't know if it was a panel out on there, but I know it's some discharge coming out. I didn't talk about that. Mm-mm. I didn't even go to, I didn't say that to Rita Table and bring it up to her. I didn't tell her to Shima. That's why I don't like people. That's why I don't deal with women like that. Because, see, they like to make jokes, but they really be meaning it. You got to watch these hoes. You know what I'm saying? But don't joke about nothing that you you know you the same. You like some young niggas too. You was getting you some young diggling too. You was in your 20s, or late 20s, getting you some 17-year-old diggling. You know, so don't sit here and make no jokes with me, because I'm gonna make them back. But I don't play about no children, not no little ass boy. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is though. But I cut people loose, you know what I'm saying? I cut you loose for anything. Every right now I'm 40, I'm letting you go. We ain't playing no more. You ain't, you ain't getting away what you did when we was in our 20s. You ain't going to play with me no more. I'm 40 years old, baby. I'm growing. I'm, I, I'm changing. I was childish in my 20s. I was still a little childish even in my 30s. But I realized, okay, you 40, not trees. You got to get right. You got to grow up. I don't want to play. I don't be on that plan. I don't be on that, girl, come on. And, ooh, da -da, don't, you don't run me. I hate for a person to be childish. I hate to be around people and they talking about everybody. You and you see people in the crowd, you sitting there just whispering and talking about it. I'm the one, because a lot of times you talking, you be loud. Girl, yeah, she was messing with such and such. And da -da -da -da. I have to, I'm like, man, I know this motherfucking lady here, y'all talking about her. She right here standing here. So I be the one to be like, come here, girl. Then this, now did it, I break. She like, no, no, no. I said, I act like I said it, because bitch, I know she heard her name. Y'all were loud. Girl, Priscilla. 
Yeah, Priscilla messed up with your boy. They said it. And we all wrong. But I, Priscilla was right there. I could tell Priscilla heard her name because Priscilla was like close as hell. So I told Priscilla to come here. They say her name. I said, come out. I said, is this true that um you used to mess with um Boo Man? That ain't his name neither. They ain't going to say the name. She was like, hell no. That must be the other Priscilla. That wasn't me. People was wrong about her. And I brought her to it because the, the person Priscilla I'm cool with, that's my girl. So I said, come out, you know. I said, I told her, I knew it wasn't you. I thought that wasn't you. You know what I'm saying? But really, the person that was next to me was talking about her. It was saying, yeah, she was messing with She wasn't talking about her bad, but just the fact she's saying that, this lady can hear you. So I pulled on over there, you know. I don't, uh uh, come on, girl, come out. And she was like, no, nah, hell no. Nah. So now, you ain't got to, you don't want to start rumors like that. You know what I'm saying? You talking about, I, I'm the time I want to know. I'm going to ask the motherfucker person you talking about. Come here, baby. Ooh, baby. I ain't, before I put that room, that's just like when the people said the girl had HIV, you know, that was making a joke about the kid shit with me. It was, somebody report, somebody told me she went to the doctor and found out she supposed to have HIV. I contacted somebody close to her and I say, let her know. I don't know how true this is, but, you know, just to, I don't want that getting out there like that. That somebody at the doctor's office supposed to have read her results to her and she passed out and da 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 da. And they tell her her business. So she was like, she called me. She was like, girl, that's the mother. I'm like, and I was like, I'm just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't. I, that's messed up if they're telling your business. That's messed up if you went and found that you got something in somebody working at the doctor's office telling your business to the streets. You know, because these girls do that in Sarasota, Bradenton area. If they, That's why you got to be careful going to certain, even in y'all states and cities, you got some black girl that run their damn mouth. And that's why a lot of people be scared to go to certain health departments and doctor's office because they be in there telling the businesses. You know what I'm saying? You burn and they go, ooh, girl, I know who burn it. And they telling their best friend, their best friend fall out with them. Now they going to tell you. That's why you got to be cautious. You're going to lose your license and your job telling stuff because you know, we, you never know when you're going to fall out with a person. So you think you and Dacoma have been friends for 25 years. Dacoma ain't never did nothing to cross you, but something end up happening bad and you end up crossing Dacoma. Now Dacoma got this on you. Yeah, now I tell such and such how you say it. And then they're going to know it's true because they really did go to this doctor and they really did have what they said. So you have, that's why my homegirl, she was like, Teresa, don't go to this doctor because baby, so many black girls work. I said, honey, I don't give a damn. If, it, if it's something wrong, I'm going to tell it my goddamn self. You know what I'm saying? But and I want them to tell because I'm a sue their ass. I want them to tell. But I went right to a black doctor. You know, everything good. You know what I'm saying? And I know the girls that work there, they cool, but they don't mean they that cool to where they won't go tell their best friend a girl. Teresa just left your girl while she said, girl, Teresa got to, you know, they going to tell it. So y'all got to be cautious of the doctors you pick around here if you don't want your business out there, which is kind of good sometimes to put business out there because some of y'all got that shit and y'all go right crazy and go to giving it away. Y'all will go out and give it away. The, I've been a, a baby, if I worked at an office and I came, and I, you came in there, I'd probably lose my job too. Because I don't like that. You know you know, you find out you got HIV and then I see they you out here messing with this young man, that young man. I'm going to be mad at you. I might go ahead and lose my job. I might want to tell you. Or make me a fake page or have somebody make it or tell some, some got to get. You know what I'm saying? You know you damn wrong. Hit there where it hurt then pockets. Yeah. I bet I lost my job though. I ain't going to lie because I don't like that. You don't do people like that. If you know you sick, you know something wrong with you. If you feel something wrong with you, use protection. Scrap up. You know how many young men they had their blood work done? Ain't been checked in years. Scared. Scared to get tested. Scared to get their iron. Scared to go get HIV tested. They think, don't think, you know what I'm saying? Just, them young girls be out there swinging their coochie. So a lot of you uh, young guys, y'all be sleeping around. Don't think you can't get that thing from them young girls. Because them young girls sleep with other guys. That might be sleeping with older women or, or, or younger girls or gay guys or, or rock, 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 rock heads. I, a guy was dating back in the day. He was messing with rock heads when he was 14. Thank God I ain't get nothing. So, you know what I'm saying? But my homegirl, to my girl, I call him. Messing with the lady, and she supposed to be HIV. I was like, oh, Lord, bitch, don't tell me this. You know, he done had kids and everything and stuff like that later on in life. But you, she was like, I don't know if he was a cunner, but I know the lady sick. And I know he was hitting her. I'm like, man, why you wait? She was like, yeah. I was like, bitch, I heard don't mess with him. You know, this was like, what, 20 years ago? Shit, 19, 18 years ago that I was with this person, and he was supposed to be messing with Rockheads. <laughs> You know, and I'm like, bitch, you seen it? So y'all got to think there's a lot of young boys out there that are trick with a rockhead. Tricking with them rockheads. They getting their little dope. 
and they getting their thing, uh, they hitting them, and some of them ain't using condoms. A lot of young boys, especially if they in that dope game. A lot of them putting up to their swags. White, they got white women swag. They sleeping with some of them. Some of them calling, you know, what can I do? If, you know, I don't have any money, is there anything I could do? Yeah, sure. You know, and they might text them, what if I give you some oral sex? You know, for just like two pieces, please. Man, I'll be over. Go in there, get the things up. You know, might be feeling good, might be over. Let me hit it. You ain't got nothing, is it? Nah, I ain't got no, I don't have anything. Hit that thing. So you can get, they can get HIV young, baby. They can get it young and they can give it to another young girl. So that's for the men out there in your 20s and 30s and 40s that's hitting them young girls. Don't think you can't, you don't think you can't get it from them. You can get it from them. You can get it from older women. You can get it. Okay. So you got to be cautious out there, man. You got to think with your brain and not with your diggling. <laughs> and that's it. And that's all, you know, and, and, and everybody needs to start seeing each other paperwork, you know, like, I be showing niggas my paperwork and I have time. I'm like, well, where you, where you? Well, hey, I got to go get checked. I ain't been checked in years. You know, when the last time? Shit, since 2016, I had an HIV test. Baby, it's 2024. So, as women, we do need to make these men show us paperwork. And if they not, we need to make them go. Go get it. Go get tested. You don't, you know, be safe. It's better safe than sorry. And if you got some, just don't call me, you know? Just don't hit me up no more. We got to start making these men show paperwork, ladies. We can't be sleeping with everybody. A lot of us do that. A lot of us just, we showing up. We got our paperwork. We good, but they, we don't even know. We don't, some of us don't even ask them for theirs. We looking at the money. We looking at, you know, oh, you know, we just want us a man so bad. But we not, I need to see your paperwork. She said, shit, baby, you better wrap up. Be people married they need to wrap up. Wrap it up. It's scary. Letting the small head think for the bigger. Yeah. And looks. You can't be looking at the looks. Because a bitch, a bitch can be HIV positive and be beautiful. Skin, beautiful. Pretty face. Thick. You sitting there like, yeah, boy, I don't think she got nothing. Boy, she fine. I don't, I don't that girl ain't got nothing. You might think I got some because I got this on my face. You might look at me and think I'm sick. And I should, and look at her. She might be full blown or just HIV positive. I'm over here clean as hell. Just got some shit going on with my hormones. And you looking at my face probably thinking she got HIV or I'm sick or I might have some. Baby, that's what my paperwork right there. There you go. Look at it. Check it out. I'm good over here. Now you need to not put her up. Now sit your over there, baby. <laughs> look at the girl just made a post that I still get eight back and I got herpes. She say she still get ate up and she got hurt. Oh, people in that, I said, well, at least she keeping it real, but they say she's an advocate. But she telling it. Because she pretty. Now, let me have a had it. Niggas ain't going to want to eat me up. They're going to be looking at how oh, they got this on her. She's pretty. Beautiful, bright-skinned girl. And she's on Facebook saying she got hurt. And she still get ate up. Mm-hmm. No, right now. I need you to know I can apply for this. Apply Monday. Shit. Apply Sunday night after 12. <laughs> but yeah. You know, I know I'm pretty. I'm pretty to my own. You know, I just got bad skin. But I'm just letting you know how people judge you. People will judge you off your skin. Shit, I done did that. I done looked some people's skin. Like, oh, my God. But sometimes they have so many big, huge, bunch of like stuff coming up out of them. I'm like, what the fuck wrong? You know? I'm not glad. You know, you be going to think what that is. So, you know, I done seen some shit terrible on some people's skin, you know. When you get your hair done. I'm getting my hair done Monday. Yeah, Monday. You like men with BBC? I don't know what it is. Everybody got something shit on the child. <laughs> yeah, herpes, you know what I mean? But it's two different kind of herpes. She's got the kind down on her coochie. You know, you get some people get cold, so we get that from... We don't get that from sexual. You get that from drinking behind people, kissing someone, you know, which is sexual. But you can get it from that. Mostly eating behind someone, smoking behind someone. She got the kind down on her coochie. She got the other one, okay? The one that, you know, you get from sex only, okay? So, I mean, if you get a cold sore on your lip, hey, that ain't a big deal. You know, don't beat yourself up. I get them every blue moon. I haven't got them in years, but... I drunk behind a little a, a little boy back when I was 16, and I got it from that. My, you know, my little girl 
kissed a little boy at school and he had a soul on his lip at Aiden Decatur. Two, three days later, Rennie get a soul. Get what Aiden Decatur said. That's, ooh, mommy, that's what that little boy had on his lip. The same thing Rennie got on her. So Rennie got hers from that little boy. She didn't, none, none of my kids get none of that from me because I wouldn't let them drink behind me or anything. When I have a, whenever I break out with a cold sore, I would never let them drink or eat behind me. But my daughter kissed a little boy when she was about seven, eight, seven years old in school. And Aiden Decatur came home and told me. I got on about it. And two, three days later, she had a little cold sore. And they said, ooh, mama, that little boy she kissed had the same thing on his lip. So she got that from that little boy. Yeah, that's why you got to be careful. You can't be drinking behind people. You can't be eating behind people. You can't be kissing people when you see them on their lips. You know, just and take a break, baby. Put your little stuff on her, your whatever, your Viva, and go on about your day. But a lot of people do have it in their system. A lot of people ain't going to tell it, but... A lot of people got that kind down there, too. And I, I ain't got that one. Thank God for that. And I don't want it. But, baby, the way some people stuff be looking all deformed and, baby, the way that word was doing. Baby, my honey, one of my little family members sent a picture around. She young, too. Messed with a lot of boys in my own time. And she had that thing. And she done trusted her friend. Sent, gave the girl the picture. I ain't going to say her name. But she gave this girl her picture of her coochie. Showing her the herpes, and the girl and her fell out, and the girl sitting around to everybody. That's why you don't trust people. I would never send a picture of my stuff to none of my friends. You know what I'm saying? Even just showing it, just to say, hey, what that is right now? How my coochie look? Is it ugly? Is it pretty? I don't want to send no goddamn picture. People get mad at you. You go to put stuff out there. You don't send. I will, you never send. You go open your legs to your grandmama. That's the only problem. What, what, what that is down there? I'm not going to be sending no picture to nobody. I'm going to take a picture to look at it my goddamn self or something. But she literally sent the picture to her friend. And the girl fell out with it and sent it around the whole damn nine for one. Showing that she had herpes. But guess what? My cousin messed with a lot of men. A lot of boys. A lot of nice looking men. My age and younger. Because she younger than me. Messed with a lot of them down there. She said it. She said, baby, and I messed with such and such. She would have named all of them. I messed with him. I messed with Mm-hmm. And they saying some of them ain't right. God damn it, you know. I ain't slept with them, but I ain't, you know, it's a lot of them I ain't slept with. But a lot I did my dirt, but shit, I'm glad I did it so long ago, baby. I ain't a hoe no more, honey. I'm a change woman, honey. I did my shit back in my days when herpes went out there like that. We ain't hear about herpes. We heard about committee ain't gonna reel and trick them on or something. But baby, we ain't herpes wasn't popping like that, I don't think. And if it was, a grown mother probably had. But um, honey, the young news ain't have it then, but I bet you they got it now. They got more than that. It's bad out there, y'all. It's scary. That's why I be scared to sleep with people. I ain't had sex in a little minute now. I'm chilling. I'm keeping this coochie to myself for a long time. I don't want no diggling. I ain't telling you my cousin name or what her name. Find out. I hope she come give you some coochie. Mm -hmm. A change woman. I'm a change woman. I did my thing. And my, I did my thing. But I did my thing with respect. Because ain't none of them grown men could get my rag lad. They be bad at y'all. She like them young niggas. She old enough do because you niggas be burning. I didn't like, I don't like, I didn't like them older niggas when I was young. I can't, I just didn't like them. And still don't to this damn day, really. I talked to a couple of them and they, you know what I'm saying? I talked to somebody older, but I really like my guys 30 and up. 31, really, because my baby dad is 10 years younger than me. And I ain't old enough to be his mama. If I'm old enough to be your mama, I don't want to talk to you. And if you 12 years and, and um, 12 years and up, if you 12 years and up, uh, then me or whatever, baby, I can't, I'm old enough to be your mom. I started my period at 12, baby. If you, if you 11 years and under, baby, younger than me, you good to go. I can get you. Shit, and I ain't no goddamn sugar mama because I can't be your mama. You gonna call me sugar auntie or sugar cousin, but it can't be sugar mama. If you 10, if you 11 years and younger, I can't be your mama, baby. So don't call me no goddamn cougar. You call me sugar auntie or sugar sister. Sugar, I could be your sister. I could probably be your, I could be either your, your cousin, but I damn sure can't be your mama. Honey, I can't be your mama. I be tired, be hey, when niggas be eight, nine years younger than me, be talking about some sugar mama. Bitch, you cougar. Bitch, no, no, baby, you can't, you can't consider me that. You can't. Not somebody 30, not, I mean 29, probably 28, I mean 28 can't. But anybody 12 years, what it is, I'm 40. So how old they be? Take 10 off of that 30. So 28, I could date, I could mess, date somebody 28. I could date somebody 28. Well, 29, because I'll be 41 this year. So 29. 
How many of y'all are cougars? How many cougars we have on here? Cougars. How many of y'all date somebody you old enough to be their mom? I have dated somebody who I'm old enough to be their mom. But, you know, it is what it is. It was what it was. I, was mm. I be taking care of this boy. He a little mama's boy. Oh, look, I be taking care of this boy. What boy? Got you a young one over there. Sweet mom. But I mean, I don't I don't get in nobody's business. If they grown, do your thing. I don't give a damn if it's a young girl dating an older man. Long as she all I'm grown. You know, and if it's a young boy dating an older woman, if he grown, he 18 and she 50, that's his business. Stick that that everybody need love, baby. Do your thing. Do your thing, baby. She said, I'm auntie, I'm 33. I'm auntie too. I, I could be I'm auntie, but I could be a cougar, okay? It's not a sick disease anymore. Look at Magic Johnson. That man got it 30 years ago and he's still... Well, you know, Magic Johnson got money, Jerry. A lot of y'all don't. Shit. They just got the medicine. They say he ain't got it. They got some out there for people. HIV, I, I, to be honest with you, if I had to pick HIV, cancer, and COVID, I'm picking HIV. And give a damn who talk about me. Out of them two. Well, no, nah, I'll take COVID. I'm good. My system good. I'll take COVID. i take COVID. God forgive me. I take COVID because a lot of y'all, my system, I, I don't had it twice and I, that shit ain't did nothing to me. So I take COVID, okay? I pick COVID and if I had to go through cancer and HIV, it'd be HIV. I wouldn't damn sure pick no cancer. I ain't got time for all that. I'm like, go ahead and HIV 50 more years. Okay, I'll take that. I'll be 90. I'll be 90. Um, I'll be 91. <laughs> It's over for me. I don't give a damn. Miss Hayden say by the time she get it, she say she all, if she get that shit, she say shit, I'm already about dead. She say shit, I, I'm 70 some years old. <laughs> you know, look all that you got get is, you look like all you get. Oh, no, nah, nobody don't hit me, baby. I don't let no man beat me. Your mammy used to get them. That's the problem. Your mammy, you used to seeing your mammy get them. And I remind you of her. But now nah, ain't nobody ever put their hands on me. A man don't, I don't. My man, me and my man done beat each other up and we got, we got like a, we was Ike and Tina, but we didn't get no marks. I mean, you know, a couple of me and my man done fought, but baby, nah, ain't nobody, ain't nobody black in my eye, baby. I ain't fighting no more though. I'm 49, baby. I ain't fighting. I'm walking away. I'm calling, I'm calling your mama, your grandmama. And if your mama, your mama don't come get you, I'm calling the police. I'll come get me. <laughs> come get them, honey. Yo, we acting crazy, honey. I ain't finna do nothing to nobody. I ain't pulling up. I'm I'm very humble now. I'm walking away from relationships and their problems. I'm not fighting nobody. Don't pull up to my house. I'm not pulling up to yours with no drama. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do it. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I'm not doing it, baby. You're going to want to come beat me up or do something to me because Trees walks away. I don't give a damn how much I love you, how much I care. I'm not I'm not going to ever come and fight you. If I'm coming, I'm going to be coming because I love you. I'm sorry. Can we work it out? Please. Baby, don't do me like this. I love you, baby. I do some shit like that now. But I'm definitely not going to be like, you going to be with me and I'll flat your time. I don't do that. Mm -mm. It'll be me being sweet. I'm sorry, baby. I love you. Please, baby, come with me. Come home with me. I won't do it no more. I promise. <laughs> that's, that's how I am now. Okay? But never would I ever swing on no man no more. I've done all that in my younger days. That ain't me. I'm not arguing with you. I'm walking away. If you are the problem, if you are abusive, if you are disrespecting me in front of my kids, I'm going to walk away from you. I'm just going to let you go and let God. Okay? My dad was 21 years older than my mom. They was married over 50 years. Ooh, do it then. Yeah. Mm -mm. Ain't no man hear me. I ain't going to give him no reason to. You look. Let me get rid of you, baby. You just come with drama. You go go play with your mammy and get off my page. Yeah, you, know, you gotta hide behind a fake page and sell out. Ain't nobody. We can't keep. I, I, I mean, you keep. You just ain't saying nothing positive. But I love y'all. I'm gonna let y'all go over here. God bless y'all. We on the other page. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, Keisha Arthur. Shit, just don't disrespect a mess with my kid. That's it. Cause I'm. A, I ain't gonna disrespect no man's children. I'm gonna. I'm a good. Per One thing about me. If I'm dating you or talking to you. I'm I'm gonna do for the child too. I'm just gonna show love. That's just me. I'm gonna show love to your children. Um, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't kissing nobody ass. I ain't kissing no mama's behind. I ain't trying to be all under your the in-law thing. Cause I know they be playing both sides. And I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We cool, we cool already, we cool. Hey girl, da da da. da. 
but I'm definitely not going to be the type, I'm going to come over there and sit with you, I'm going to come, I don't be under the mud laws. We got to, once I have a baby or something, that's different. Like, if I have a child from that person, I will come and sit with that, like me and Jackie used to be, like I sit over there with her and stuff like that and chill with her. But, you know, because we, you know, that's my kid's grandma. But just me, because I'm hunting your son or whatever, I'm not going to come trying to do the most and be up under you and malau. I don't do all that. Mm -mm. We gonna, if we was cool before, hey, and we're going to keep speaking, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. If it's something going on, I call your son, this and that, that, that. But I wouldn't dare. I'm not, I'm not big with the in-laws, y'all. I'm not really big on that because I know they play both sides and I don't like that. Because I'm not like that. You know, with my boys or my daughter, I'm not going to be on that playing both sides. If you got a main woman, you you know, that's who I'm. This video fit in your iPhone control. Okay, got it. All right, I know. What don't you, what you do? How you do it, y'all? Do it still do that? How you do it? It ain't doing it no more? I guess not. But yeah, I definitely like, I'm not that in-law type. I mean, I'm cool with some of my in-laws. They still love me to this day. Some of my, one of my son laws seen me by, um, what, last, about a week ago. She said, you my, you my favorite son law. <laughs> she said, I was like, girl, go on. She was like, you my favorite son law. That was like years ago. I used to date her brother, like years ago. But she was like, you my favorite son law. I was like, oh, made me feel good. And I still got some of, like, guys I've dated, they brothers love me. People love me. Like, some of my in-laws love me. The mamas, my mother, one of my old mother-in-laws, she be on my page making jokes to my, my ex down in law Girl, go on ex mother law <laughs> She be having jokes. I'm finna, your granddaughter coming over here today, girl. I'm finna go get, I'm gonna go get her later. She coming over here today to um wash the clothes. I'm gonna have her wash the stuff. I'm gonna pay her to come wash this laundry for me. I don't feel like doing all them big quilts. She did it for me the last time. But yeah, I definitely ain't. Um, you are a trip. I love watching your videos. You make my day. Thank you, King Carter TV. I love you. I love you too. What happened to that African youth? Baby, I love that. He got him another woman. That's my dog. My dog got him another woman in America. She finna move up there with him, y'all. He's so happy. I talked to him. He's my. I said, I say, do right by the girl and go get that divorce, man. To my, I'm not worried about that. I said, baby, she yawned, though. He got him a 25-year-old. He say she's calmer. She don't yell. I say, well, I didn't yell when you first met me, but, bitch, once I got to know. She don't know his truth, though. That's the only thing. So I feel like once that girl find out the truth, but, you know, if she young and she he putting all that good diggling on in that head, she probably going to be in love. But me, I ain't. Hey, I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm not a fool. I'm a grown woman. I need. I know what I want. But he, um, yeah, he got him another, he got him a girlfriend, y'all. I'm proud of him. He got him somebody. He's happy. He's in love. He, but he just ain't paid for the rest of that money for that. All he need to pay that lady is $100 for that divorce. That nigga so pitiful. But yeah, we cool, but I don't want him. I don't want him. I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm glad he found somebody. I'm, 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 I'm over him. No feelings whatsoever. One thing about me, y'all, I told y'all when I move on, I move on. And he had some great sex. The best sex out of all the niggas I've dated in my life. Good sex. Good everything. Good head. Good diggling. Oh, baby. Good everything. He had some good shit going on. But that ain't what sex don't pay no bills. I take a little diggling that's going to help me pay some bills before I be dealing with a nigga with some good diggling that can't get his mind right and get his money right. I'd rather deal with a, a little diggling man that got a job and gonna help pay some bills, bitch, even if it's a light cable in the water. He's a Bahamian, not an African. If she don't know his truth, what then truth? She'll find out one day. But I ain't finna look for her and tell her that ain't my business. I ain't no hater. If she come ask me some questions, I show enough to tell her the truth. So he better keep mine. I ain't tell her about you. You know not to tell her about me. Hell yeah, I keep it real with her, baby. He was mad. Why you broke up with him, baby? You wanna know the truth? He's a great man when it comes down to sex and stuff like that and opening doors for you, but he don't know how to, you know, get that money and keep money, you know. But he, um, yeah, he just sent the $300 to come up there to stay with him, he said. He said, she coming to live with me. I said, that's a blessing. I said, he said, I said, you need to get that divorce so you can move to America. Well, he said, I don't want to come to America. She's coming to live with me up here. I said, that's what's up. So, yeah, he said that she got people in the Bahamas that from kin to her. 
that she found out about. So she want to move to Bahamas. Yeah, little 25-year-old girl, she want to move to the Bahamas. So, yeah, hi, what's your um, pronouncing name? I'm new. My name is Latrice, Latrice, baby. The truth that he was bisexual, and I don't know if he's still that way. I pray he don't go back that way. If he got this young lady, he need to stick with her. She said, Drees, you are the truth. I love you. Been watching you for over four years, and you are the bomb.com. Thank you. I just pray he tell the truth, y'all. You know, don't jeopardize. If you're still out there doing that, you know, and he said that she did show his, her paperwork, that she didn't have anything. And I told him, I hope you show her yours, too. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Eddie Kane Jr. <laughs> she knows you. That's why she hooked up with him. Oh, she's 25, baby. I don't think that girl know me. That girl don't know me probably. A lot of young girls don't know me like that. I got more older women on my page. A lot of young girls, you never know her story. She might, her mama might not be in a picture. She might have been raised by her grandma. And her grandma probably don't, you know, you never know her story. But he says she's a great, you know, she's she he loves her. And I pray that he do right by y'all. That's it and that's all. But he loved calling me to my his friend. But I told him, I said, when I get a man, you can't be calling me. Okay, you got to respect that. You can't be texting me. You can't be calling me when I get a man. I say, I ain't got no man at this moment. Probably be years before I get me a man. But you can't be calling me when I get a man. At all. Not like me. I'm 48. You 48, Ms. Dacoma? Hey, Camina Trees Island, you read my test. That's my dog. Yeah, I read it, girl. Debbie J. Sis, love you. You're an inspiration and motivated. Thank you for being you. Jordy, you welcome. Jordy and Thomas. I'm on both. I'm on all kind of lives. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, all that. I got to get off here, though. I got to give me some tea from the vegan spot that I found. And I want to try their food. And I'm going to probably bring it back with me. I'm going to just get it and bring it back. Because I was going to eat there. But I'm going to just try to get it, come back home. So, yeah. I'm going to go get me some vegan food. Because I got to go pick Rennie. Well, I got to go pick Rennie up. Then I'm going to go back home. So, yeah. Love you too, Wanda. Thank you. Hey, Miss Michelle Peterson. But, yeah, I'm getting my hair done Monday. It's going to last about four, five, six months, y'all. She told me, my hair do's last six months. I said, Lord, because y'all know I don't do right. So, we're going to keep it in. I like to keep my hair do's, like, braids in for three to four months. I don't like to do six months. I don't want my shit dreading up and nappy and, and all that stuff. I love you, too, boo-boo. I love you, too, Miss um, Peterson. She said, I love you because you tell it, tell the truth. A lot of people was raised by grandma. Yes, we was. I damn sure was. I love my grandma, but I'm staying away from that family right now because they all bipolar. I love them, though. I love them. I love them from a distance. I'm going to go over there one day and talk to her, but I ain't ready right now. You want some net bones? Go cook them. You don't love me. I love you, Debbie. I love all y'all. I love everybody on here that love me. Nothing Deb over here with the BS. She need to go over there with Joe and Radio. She look like they related. Baby, if you don't get off here, Deborah, to my talking like this, and you over, you look like what I'm talking like. You look just what I'm talking about. All the diseases and everything. You look just like all that. Everything I said, you look like it. Terry Law, LaShawn. To my, do I, do I, girl. Hey, Auntie Elizabeth Allen. I love you, sugar. I blocked that lady. Girl, get off of here to my, do I, do I look, baby, I, and this is me. I've been like this all my life. Well, not all my life, because I would have got my ass tore up if I was a child talking like this. But I've been like this as long as I was able to, you know, when I was able, you know, to start letting it be out or whatever, honey. But yeah, bitch, I've been like this. I've been who I am. She don't come over and you should do. Baby, y'all should have seen her look worse than me on that picture uh, and talking about something. You, you need to get on from over here. Hallelujah. And I like all your stuff. I love me, too. You look so chill and bright today. I am Kina Silver. I feel good once I go get my little vegan meal for the day. And I'm going to cook some for them kids when they lay down and chill and relax. I ain't going nowhere because I know I'm going to want to drink. If I go somewhere, I don't want no wine. I don't want no liquor. All I want is water and some good spearmint tea. Okay, that's what I'm on. Auntie, you know I've been wild all my life. I'm a change woman. Not no, no. We know you love your grandmother, but you'll go visit. Don't no, no, I ain't going over there. If I whenever I go over there, y'all, I'm not going live. Y'all won't even know. I'm not recording nothing. She's not going on my camera no more. She's 
she's barred off my camera because she say things she shouldn't say. She'll say some things. She'll be done saying something about the family. She, my grandma don't give a damn. And I, I, I say some shit too, though. I, I get it honestly. I tell them to their face, though. I don't give a damn. I told my auntie. I told my auntie something yesterday. Time. <laughs> Girl, you said it. Da, da, da. And you said what you felt. Now you don't feel like this happened. Uh, but he did. Now what he did, what? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Spearmint tea, clean your eye. Get them, get your hormones right. Get your body right. Clean your eye. Oreo, you're great. Thank you. Do, do you still have seasoning? Yes, ma'am, but it's in Atlanta. Vegan is the way to go, Trees. What's good in Atlanta? You got to go check out um Jimmy. Jimmy. Kel. Jimmy, yes, you need to hang around because you know I don't drink nor, nor smoke. I need to come sit with you then because I do not want to drink or smoke. I'm chilling right now, y'all. I'm on my, I'm on my <sighs> cleansing, you know, just getting my mind right. We just love to hear your talk, Trees. Yeah, but I don't want to go over there, y'all. I don't want to be around it. PJ, y'all tell my brother PJ to go record when he go down now. I just don't want to go over there right now. I got to send these to Shima. I order her these right here. I'm going to send them to her when she go to prison. A little postcard she could sell, make her some money, you know. Can you say Emma and Timmy is the best couple? Please, I love you. I'll subscribe. <laughs> Jay Lenny, well, can you do you have diabetes? Because I do know, baby, I don't have diabetes, but I'm almost there. If I don't stop, that's why I'm eating healthy. Take care of yourself. Change your diet, and that, and that diabetes will go away, I promise you. Change the way you eat, and it'll go away. Trees, what, what's a good number for today? I don't know why I just seen a three, two, one. And a three. I just keep seeing that three. But you know, this mouth is slick, though. Oh, baby, I know it. I, I got, we got it on this. I think it's an Allen thing. <laughs> Don't we got it honest? <laughs> Come to Cluiston to the festival in May. I might try it. I've never been to Cluiston in my life, neither. My little cousin stayed out with his mama. I hope. So how you been doing, Trees? I've been doing good. I've been doing good. God is good. Bills paid. And roof over my head. And food on the table. And, you know. Look, Miss Jack, I got you if I hear you good, Miss Jack. You always showing me love. You always show me 612. I see a 612, Miss Jackie. 321612. I don't know why I just seen it in my head. I'm from North, New York City. You should come. I don't, I'm going to come up there one day. But right now, I want to do a cruise or something. I really want to do a cruise. And so, you know, the kids about to be out of school. So, we're going to probably go on a cruise somewhere. That's what I'm thinking my next trip going to be. Taking my kids on the cruise and just enjoying the water. Y'all know I love the water. So, Get me a nice cruise with me some good a good casino on there, a little blackjack, go have me some fun, play some games, get on the slide with the kids. You know what I'm saying? I just like to enjoy life. You know, so that's what my goal is to go on a cruise again. Me and my babies. Grandson who's downstairs, that's his birthday, 612. Oh, okay, for real. I think that's my daddy's birthday. That's crazy. I think that's my daddy's birthday. No, no, no. July. July 12th is my daddy's birthday. You say 912. She say 912. But yeah, I love y'all. I'm going to get off here so I'm going to get some to eat. God bless y'all. Talk to you all later. And yeah, I'll be back later on. YouTube, I love y'all. I love your Facebook. YouTube. What y'all got going on? All right, you two. Be blessed. I love y'all.